<laughs> it looks like someone is having a very good time. <laughs> oh, the baby berrykins are very cute. And with so many of them in our community, I thought they needed a new daycare center and playground. Princess Berrykin? I'm sure they will, but... But what? Well, it needs something. The metal is all grey and the wood is all brown. Kind of dull, don't you think? Oh, yes, I see what you mean. It could really use some fun colours. Exactly. And maybe some... Uh... Decorations! Uh, yes! Design! Yes! Style! Oh, yes! A makeover! <laughs> Do you know someone who is good at that? I know two someones who are very good at it. Lemon and Raspberry. Excellent. I have always admired the sense of design and style. I'll go tell them. They'll be so excited to get started. They'll jump up and say, Uh, I don't think so. But you're both perfect for the project. <laughs> well, we are naturally very stylish, each in our own way. But we probably should say no thank you. I don't get it. You both like the princess. Certainly. And you both love the baby berrykins. Absolutely. And you're both talented. Definitely. Then what's the problem? She is. You see, see, we're both very, uh, very, very, um, creative. creative. But our ideas don't always match, you know, go together. And then there are hurt feelings and tears and arguments. What do you mean? Uh, she needs a for instance, you know, uh, an example. But which one? Croquet Club. Here's a great example. A poster we did for the Croquet Club. I thought the perfect slogan would be, you'll have a ball. And I said it should be, you'll have a wickedly good time. <laughs> it's more clever, more memorable, more, I don't know, more now. And I thought the color style was gonna be all wrong. My color style, she means. See, we both have good ideas. We just can't agree on who's are better. But you two are friends. You'd make a great team. Lemon with your sense of beauty and Raspberry with your sense of fashion. Thanks for the compliments, but I still think we get on each other's nerves. Well, can you maybe not argue for just a little while? Long enough to at least listen to the princess's ideas? <laughs> <laughs> Glad you think so. Now, over there, I thought we could have an art station with crayons and easels and... Oh, oh and finger paints! And modeling clay! Good ideas. And over here, some games and activities, like a... Yeah, a, a colorful, you know, a multicolored... What you call it? A hop, hip, hopscotch board! Brilliant! It'll be a first, an original, the one and only... Hi! Playground! So, you'll do it? Yes! Oh, wonderful! Oh, I almost forgot to mention, the daycare opens in two days. Do you think it could be ready by then? No problem! Oh, thank you. I'll drop by later and see how you're doing. <laughs> All right, the first thing we should do is give some pizzazz to the dandelion bouncing pit. Its whole color scheme is so zero. Well, that sounds nice, but what the princess wants is style. So let's start on my hopscotch board. Your hopscotch board? Hmm? Oh, uh, I mean ours. It's just I have the perfect idea for it. Whoa, okay, I guess, uh, I mean, uh, no point in arguing. Of course not. Why would we want to do that? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't this look cheerful? Hand me the red paint, would you, Raspberry? Raspberry? <laughs> Raspberry? What are you doing? The kind of design work that makes a baby berry can say, wow! <laughs> I thought we were gonna work on my hopscotch board. Well, you were having so much fun painting old-fashioned decorations. I thought I'd leave you alone. Old-fashioned? Uh, it's called retro, and it's very much in style today. Yes, well, I'm sure there are people who like that sort of thing, but, um, you know, I'm going for a more trendy, grab-your-attention look since fantastic fashion is all about being daring. You know, taking design chances and all. <laughs> yes, it's delightful. If you happen to like the chances designers were taking last year. <gasps> Oh, perfect. What? <laughs> Lemon, what, what, what are you doing? Well, that daring, chancy, modern look of yours is ever so interesting, but it might be a bit, oh, bright for the baby bearkin's eyes, don't you think? No, I don't think. Well, I do. So the choice was simple. Give them sunglasses to protect them from those clashing colors. <laughs> Cute, but... Or, and this one's my personal choice, build a more eyeball-friendly and truly stylish bounce pit. <sighs> there you go again, thinking your ideas are better than mine. Just like with the croquet poster. The croquet poster would have worked if you'd listened to my ideas, but... It's okay, it's okay. I'm not gonna argue with you. I'll just let the princess decide whose bounce pit is better looking. Oh. Huh. <laughs> hey, Lemon, could you grab that side of the... Oh, I forgot. <clears throat> Never mind. Oh. Raspberry, could you give me a hand with... Oh, never mind. If Raspberry doesn't appreciate me, what's the point? I'll just let her do it however she wants. Alone! This is getting to be very not fun. If Lemon doesn't like how I do things, she can just do it all, all by herself. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and that's it! You got it! <laughs> nice! Excellent! Oh, really excellent! Oh, thanks, Plum! I'm glad somebody likes what I do. Aw, I know Lemon likes your stuff. Lemon likes her stuff better. She wants to do everything her way, so I quit. Isn't that play area a two-person job? Oh, believe me, Lemon will be a lot happier alone. Well, why do you think so? Because she won't have me to argue with. Hi, Lemon. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, girls. What's everybody doing? Oh. Hey, Lemon. Uh, hi, Lemon. How are you? Getting the refreshments and entertainment ready for the grand opening of the daycare center. How's it going out there? Just great. Ooh, yummy. You girls need any help? Um, <laughs> aren't you and Raspberry working together? We were, but she thinks her ideas are better than mine, so I'm letting her do it by herself. Well, that's a big job for just one person. Doesn't it need two? Not if those two disagree on everything. Oh, so Lemon, I was just working on this new song. Tell me what you think. Um, when stormy grows the weather, it's good to work together. Uh, like birds of a feather, teamwork is better. 
<laughs> so, what do you think? Do you have anything more uh, heavy? Oh, lemon! <laughs> it's you. Gosh, uh, there you are. Yeah. <laughs> are you uh, finished already? What? Well, aren't you working on the playground? <gasps> You? I, I thought, thought you were. were. I gave up so you could do it your way. Me too. Nothing got done. Hi, girls. Hi, Strawberry. Nice day. Hey, I just heard that Princess Berrykin is on her way over to see how your job is coming. <gasps> Hopefully you settled your differences and everything's fine. I believe you just walked out and left it like this. Uh, me? You? Well, you walked out too. If Princess Barrican sees this, she'll lose all faith in me. Well, what about me? Maybe she'll never even speak to me again. Everyone will hear about it and lose trust in me, and, and no one will come to my salon anymore. Well, what about what everyone thinks of me? My, my reputation is on the line too here, you know. If only it weren't for you and... For me? What about well, you walked out on the job without even telling me. So did you. Uh, but I don't work for you. I don't work for you either. Oh, blaming each other isn't solving anything. <sighs> You're right. I am? Yeah. So, what do we do? Well, we've got to keep the princess from seeing this until we can get it finished. Or at least cleaned up and... and Almost finished. I agree. You do? Absolutely! We got a staller. Come on! Why, hello, princess. Coming to see our work? Yes. How is it coming along, girls? Oh, just uh, splendidly. We can't wait for you to see it. Oh, but wait! Oh, dear! Oh, no! Oh, my goodness! Why, whatever is wrong, Raspberry? The, uh, chair, uh, I mean, tablecloths! Oh, my! Yes, how silly of us to forget. We can't show the princess the playground now because... She has to decide on the right fabric for the tablecloths for the lunch tables. Quickly, Princess, let's go to my fashion boutique. Oh, we're so lucky we ran into you. Oh, this plaid is nice, and this color would go fabulously with this color, don't you think? But we just don't know about these polka dots. Well, these are all nice. Uh, I do have to be getting back to the berry works. How many more samples are we going to be looking at exactly? Oh, just a hundred more. Give or take a few dozen. <laughs> now, about this fabric, what do you think? Stripes? Or checks? You keep her busy. I'll try to do some cleanup. Good idea. Uh... Checks are a good idea, Lemon. A princess, could you take a look at this fabric, please? Yes, you better get going. Oh. Huh. So, we're settled on the tablecloths, then. And a perfect choice it is. How are things going? Oh, just fine. The princess has decided on a fabulous spring floral. How are things going with you, Lemon? Oh, you know, always could use a bit more time. <laughs> well, guess you have to get going back to the berry works now. Well, I could spare a few minutes to see how it's coming along. Goodness me! The flowers! We forgot all about those, uh, special flowers. Right, Raspberry? Why, yes. The, uh, the early blooming yellow-tipped peasel puffs. Yes, oh, they're a must for any daycare nowadays. They are? I've never even heard of peasel puffs. Oh, yes! All the best daycare centers have them. I know. How about if you help us pick one? I'd be delighted. I think I see one. Just a 
little father. You're almost there, princess. Is that really a peasel puff tree? There's no such thing. That's just a dogwood tree in bloom. Okay, now grab a couple of flowers, your highness. All right, I've got them. Princess, are you all right? Uh, a little dizzy, but fine. Here are your peasel puffs. Oh, the peasel puffs, they're perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm sorry that I have to get back to the berry works, so I won't be able to visit the play area just now. Oh, really? Oh, phooey. Well, it will look a lot better in the morning when we're done. See you at the grand opening, girls. <sighs> yeah, we're in very big trouble. If only you'd listened to my idea. What makes you think you've got the only good ideas? Oh, let's not start that again. Maybe Strawberry can help us. Good idea. Race you to the cafe. You win. Oh, oh, and then the balloon went all crazy, you know, wacky. I mean, we barely got her down safely. And the play area is still unfinished. And the only thing we agree on is that we'll never finish it on time. Strawberry, we're never going to be able to work well together. <laughs> but you already do work well together. Huh? No, really. Look at the clever ways you kept the princess delayed. Fabrics, balloons, flowers. I mean, it'd be better if you told her the truth. But that? <laughs> that took a lot of teamwork. Well, now that I think about it, we did plan that well. <laughs> yeah, your fabric idea was pretty clever. Oh! <laughs> and your peasel puff gag. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm not sure I want to know what a peasel puff is, but do you understand what I'm saying? So? I think we're going to give the play area another shot. That's great! But it's still gonna be a lot of work. Do you need any help? Thanks, that's very kind. But I think Raspberry and I should do it. We have our reputations to uphold. Oh yes, and we promised the princess together, so we need to, you know, complete it together. Oh no. We don't have much time. What do we do? We could work on each project together until it's done, and then we'll move on to the next one. What do you think? Great idea. Really? <laughs> really. Very best friends forever. Never let each other down. As long as we're together, things will always turn around. We might get lost, but it's okay. Got your friends, you find your way back home, sweet home, a place you can always call your own. Look, sleeping on the job. However, they finished the job. Wow, it's amazing! What a great team! I had a feeling they could do it. Look, the princess is coming. Quick, let's put up the ribbon. Princess, would you please do the honors? I now declare this Berrykin Daycare Center open! A great job. We only did the ribbon. There are your makeover superstars. Lemon, raspberry. I love the play area. It's exactly what I wanted. It's colorful, vibrant, stylish, and fun. Both modern and old fashioned. Thank you, Princess. And we apologize for all that trouble we put you through yesterday. No harm done. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> she didn't even care who did what. She was just so pleased with the result. She was impressed with the team. And so am I. Thank you, Strawberry. Thanks. Righto. And I can't wait to work with you again. Mm. How about working on a nap? Oh. Uh, yes. You got it. <sighs> Partner. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's open every door. We're gonna explore and do the things we always want. enough of the limelight. So, I hope you don't mind, Strawberry, but the Berry Big City Bitty Games needs a band for the opening ceremony. They called me, but I suggested your band, and sent a tape. And they said yes! <laughs> There's so much to do. I have to pack. But what do I pack? Oh, uh, I'll need a jacket if it's cold. And shorts if it's hot. Galoshes if it rains. <laughs> Take it easy, Raspberry. You don't even know when we're going. When are we going, Cherry? Tomorrow. <gasps> Tomorrow? There's so much to do. Wait, Wait for us. us! Wow. We're going to Berry Big City. That's... A long way. <laughs> uh, uh how, how are we gonna get there? Oh, I thought we'd just take my tour bus. Oh. Uh, how long will we be gone? A long time, I bet. <sighs> well, I better get packing. Me too. Are you coming, Orange? Yeah, right behind you. We'll be taking my bus to Berry Big City. Do you think it'll make the trip okay? Hmm. Well, if anybody can do it, it's probably me. <gasps> Wonderful! And could you do one more thing with the bus? Hmm. When do you need it? Tomorrow. Hmm. <gasps> Tomorrow? <laughs> There's so much to do. Where's my sprocket wrench? When we're a team, 
we can do anything. We're invincible. Let's make a plan. Together we can. We're invincible. Ah, strawberry. Would you have any of that marvelous mulberry pie? The very best pie in very many city. <laughs> Why, thank you, Berry Kim Bloom. Right away. <gasps> Ooh, what is this? Don't tell me. You're rearranging the cafe? No. You're looking for a treasure. No, no. You're 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 going on a trip. Yes! <laughs> All the way to very big city! Oh, a magnificent metropolis. I haven't been there since... <gasps> what? <gasps> if you're there and I'm here, how will I get any pie? Oh, uh, that's a very good question. Hiya, Orange. What you doing? Where are you going? And why? We're all going away on a long trip. But what about us? Where will we get things like this? And that? And these? <gasps> You're right! Where will my customers go? Look what will happen to us! We'll be lost! A critical matter indeed. What will happen to us, and what will happen to Berry Bitty City? There'll be no one to take care of my store. Or Lemon's Beauty Salon, Blueberry's Bookshop, Plum's Dance Studio, Cherry's Music Lessons, Strawberry's Cafe, anything! Maybe we can show the Berrykins how to run things while we're gone. <gasps> Brilliant plan! We, the Berrykins, shall take charge! For duty, for honor, for Berry Bitty City! Yay! Don't forget the scent stems! My customers love them! Check. When do I give the facial? After you set out the magazines. You want to make the salon experience a pleasure. Got it. Pleasure. Now, Mud? Okay, I think you're ready to... Oh! Uh, oh, my! Oh! Oh! <gasps> Eric and Belle! What? Did I miss a spot? <sighs> I think we're gonna need a little more practice. I'll have the tossed salad, please. Tossing the salad! Tossing the tossed salad! Oh, that was... Very good, but next time, don't forget the plate. Oh! Well, it's, uh, different. When reading aloud, you must create the proper mood for your listener. Yes, the mood. Yes. <laughs> pepper under B. I suppose I'll find the missing red pepper under R. Hmm. Pepper goes in the P section. And sweet basil does not go under S. It may be sweet, but it goes in B for basil, sweet or not. This isn't working. They're doing the best they can, but oh, there's no way I can leave them in charge of my store. What are you saying? I'm saying that I'll just have to stay here. The rest of us go on without you? I'm sorry, Strawberry. But Orange, we need you in the band. Maybe if you show the Berrykins exactly what they need to know to run your store while you're gone, I'm sure they could get it right next time. Oh, okay. Let's give it another try. There! <laughs> How's that? Hmm. Now then, 
let's see. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, uh, never mind. That's where it's supposed to be. Aha! No, I guess that does go there. All in all, it's more or less basically perfect. Yeah! <laughs> Phew! <laughs> now you can go on the trip with us. <laughs> Looks that way, huh? Strawberry and the Sweet Beats Band tour bus. <laughs> well, what do you think? Fantastic! Oh, oh Barrack and Bruce, it's beautiful. Well, I figured if you're going to Berry Big City, why not go in style? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> We were supposed to leave an hour ago. What's keeping her? She's just having a little trouble deciding what to pack. She'll be here any... Um... Minute... We're gonna need a bigger bus. I'm afraid there's not enough room for all of that orange. But I, I can't leave any of it behind. Not even two dozen jars of assorted jams and jellies? Well, I could maybe take just one dozen. Your store's entire stock of tape, paper clips, and envelopes? Well, you never know when you're gonna need. Come on, girls. Let's get the rest of this loaded on the bus. Begin. Here's a nice book of nursery rhymes that I. No! Not that one! Leave this one! It's a lot better! Really? Well, uh, the case of the slinking, slinking slinker? Oh, my, <laughs> that sounds a bit <clears throat> frightening. But it's science! Oh, well, then. Uh, once upon a time, there was a slinking slinker who... <laughs> Hold on. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, um, are we sure we wouldn't rather hear these quaint and charming little nursery rhymes? Slinking slinker! Slinking slinker! A slinking slinker who had long, sharp, glistening teeth and a growl as loud as a foghorn. Oh, this sounds dreadful. <laughs> this will be so much fun! I can't believe we're actually going! Aren't you excited, Orange? Orange? Is something wrong? Stop the bus! <laughs> what is it? What's the matter? I just remembered I forgot to bring... my tea. <laughs> tea? We can get some in very big city. Not my special blend. It, it's my own blend. Mine. My very own. I cannot get it anywhere else. I... I guess there's time to go back. And the slinking slinker slinked into the night, and nobody ever knew what happened to it, and that's all the end! Yeah! No, no, no. It's past my, uh, er, past your bedtime. Uh, come along now, come along. Uh, Off you go. Get to bed. Pleasant dreams. 
don't think about... about that awful slinking slinker. Hey! Ah! Is everything all right, Berrykin Bloom? All right? How could it be all right with that slinking slinker slinking about? Slinking slinker? Mm, that doesn't sound good. I should say, slinking slinkers are only the most terrifying creatures in existence. I read it in a science book. And you say there's one around here? Here, there, no telling where. That's how it is with slinking slinkers, you know. They slink. Well, I'm not scared. Why should I be afraid of a... Let's get Orange's tea so we can be on the road again. <laughs> a slinking slinker. Oh, goodness me. I'm sure there's a simple expl... What was that? And th th that? We have to do something. We must protect Berry Bitty City while the girls are gone. We promised. Let's keep this to ourselves. No need to alarm the whole city. Hmm. I have an idea. Oh, I almost couldn't find it. Those barricans have my store too organized. Come on, let's get going. Listen, a whole army of them. We must defend the city. Stop the bus! <laughs> what now? I left the hose running in the garden. I think uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, that is the very best I could do with such short notice. Amazing! What is it? A slinking slinker snatcher. Watch. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I sort of thought so. Just a little farther. This is the last place the Slinker and Slinker was almost seen. Trap is set. Now what? Now we wait. It's very late. We don't want to wake the Berrykins. Let's be quiet. Oh, this sounds dreadful. It must be the slinking slinker. Shh. We don't want the Berrykins to think there's somebody slinking around. Yeah, but we're slinking around. What is this doing out here? Oh, see? I knew the Berrykins wouldn't put things away while we were gone. What is that? Looks like some kind of... <gasps> trap! Ooh, sounds like we caught a big one. <laughs> well, hey, these look a lot like... Strawberry shortcake. What are you doing here? Uh... We needed to come back? <sighs> to check on the city? Um, sort of. But the city is fine. That's why we built this trap. To protect Berry Bitty City from the Slinking Slinker. <laughs> the Slinking Slinker? That's just a story. <laughs> Did the baby Berrykins tell you it was real? Oh, oops. <laughs> I thought it was, and then when I heard well, someone slinking... Oh. <laughs> that was just us, I'm afraid. <laughs> Guess I let my worries carry me away. Running your businesses and taking care of the city were harder than we thought, but we did our very best. Didn't you trust us, Strawberry? Oh, it wasn't that. It was... <sighs> it was me. I kept finding excuses to come back. I guess I, I was sort of afraid to leave Berry Bitty City. 
Aw, you were afraid. You could have told us. Oh, we understand. I'm sorry, Orange. It's no fun to feel afraid. Does it help to know we'll all be there together? It does. You're not afraid to sing, are you? And you're not afraid to put on a costume and get up on stage? No, of course not. Berry Bitty City is a very wonderful place, and we'd never leave it for long. You know that, right? What if, instead of thinking about what we're leaving behind, think of what's ahead? A great big adventure waiting for all of us. Yeah. Our band's first performance will be very amazing. I would never want to miss that. Uh, wait a minute, if you could. I have something for Orange. If ever I have occasion to travel from home, I always take this reminder of home with me. I'd like you to have it. Oh, look! It's Berry Bitty City. There's my house and my store. everybody. I think I'm ready to go now. Come on, sweet beats. We can practice our song on the way. When we're a team, we can do anything. We're invincible. <laughs> Good morning, Postmaster. Oh, getting ready for your vacation, I see. Oh, feel the chill in that breeze. Yeah, not much summer left. We're trying to get going before it's over. Oh, I nearly forgot. Do you have anything for me today? Well, 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 well. <laughs> what have we here? <laughs> Now, that's either six dozen dried kidney beans, or... The maracas I ordered last week! Thank you, Postmaster! These are for our trip. When we get to Berry Breezy Bay Resort, they're gonna know we arrived! <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> well, have a wonderful trip, Ms. Pudding. that I'm forgetting. <laughs> Could it be... this? <laughs> Delivery from Happy Pappy Snapapple Farm. Perfect! <laughs> Thank you. Now I can finish my Snappy Apple Apple Snacks. Would you like some? Oh, they're very good. Nope, can't. I'm on that new buttercup diet. <laughs> well, happy vacation. Oh, I'm so excited. It's like I'm there. <laughs> We're not there yet. We will be tomorrow. It's all I can think about. All I want to do is dance and dance. Oh, I can't wait to move into our perfect peach pink palace. <gasps> what do you think? I love it. And I'll be surfing those perfect azure waves. And me? I'm gonna be sunbathing under their perfect rows of coconut palms. And I am just gonna wanna sing. Beyond the berry breeze, an island awaits for me. A tropical paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea. Watching the waves all rolling by. Come on, girls, let's have some fun. Let's dance all day under the sun. Because we're sunshine girls. Tap your feet to the beat now. Sunshine girls. And jump up, move to the groove. Sway to the left, strike the pose. Bounce, bounce, bounce like a beach ball. We're Sunscreen lotion check. Swimsuits check. Beach towels check. Second set of beach towels for when the first set's wet check. Uh oh. 
Wow, Orange. Are you ever organized? Huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just the vacation checklist that I made. Whoa, look at you. I've hardly started packing and already I've forgotten more than I can remember. Well, like I always say, you can never be too organized. I mean, what if we got all the way to Berry Breezy Bay Resort and forget something really important? Good point. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a copy of your checklist that I could borrow, would you? Just so happens that the first item on my list was to make copies of the list for everybody. That's so She's very nice. nice. Here you go. Orange's official list of everything we need to bring. I even made a list of all the lists I made. Organization, that's the key to a happy vacation. Well, we better get busy. We've got a big day tomorrow. See you later. Better hurry. Everybody ready to go? Everybody check and double check their lists? Yep, there's nothing to do now but wait for the butterfly bus. According to the schedule, it should be here. Punctuality, that's the key to a happy vacation. Uh, I think I'll practice napping on the beach. I think I'll practice my nifty new surf move. It's called... <sighs> the snooze. <laughs> <laughs> I hear something coming! Just the breeze. Oh, oh, is that it? Oh, guess not. I'm so very sorry. This letter was delayed by bad weather. It just arrived. Oh, it's from the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. We are happy that you will be visiting us. <laughs> Next year? Where are you here? Months from now. We regret to inform you the resort has been closed early due to very, very breezy weather. It must be a joke. But look, there's more. This is no joke. Sorry. I really had my heart set on Berry Breezy Bay. I could almost feel that peach pink sand between my toes. <sighs> oh, oh, maybe we could go to the mountains instead. Except it's kind of breezier there. There must be other resorts. Yes. I'll start researching them. Oh, great idea. I bet we can find something just like Berry Breezy Bay. Um, I'm afraid that won't work. Summer is just about over. There's no time to plan a whole new trip. You. Trip. Yeah. <sighs> there aren't going to be any sand castles in the peach pink sand. No surfing those perfect azure waves. And no sunbathing under the perfect rows of coconut palms. But why not? Why not? Because the whole island is closed. Who says we have to go to the island? What are we gonna do? Bring the island here? Yep. Yeah, right. <laughs> if we can't go to the island, why don't we bring the island here? Do you know what she's talking about? Mm hmm More or less. Mostly less. Here, let me show you. I'll build us a perfect copy of Very Breezy Bay Resort. With a beach and palms and sand castles. But where? Right here, on the shore of Very Bitty Lake. It'll be like we're really there. But it'll be our own place, a place where everyone in Very Bitty City can vacation. Someday, we could even have guests, just like a real resort. I don't know, Orange. Do you think it's a bit ambitious? <laughs> yeah, it's maybe just a little itsy bitsy bit impractical, if not undoable. Sure, it's ambitious, impractical, undoable, and downright impossible. That's why I'm the one to make it happen. 
Just gonna take some good old-fashioned hard work. Or sun, shine, cross. Do 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 do. Do you really think she can pull this off? It's going to be a whole lot of work. Maybe she's bitten off more than she can chew. I sure don't want her to be disappointed. Maybe she really can make it happen if we help her. What do you say, girls? We yeah, can let's have do it, it together. Come on, guys. Let's get going. Can we help you, Orange? Well, let's see. Oh, why, yes. Yes, you can. Lemon, you help Eric and Bloom with palms. Blueberry, we need chairs over there. Plum, strawberry, we need a tropical menu. Raspberry, you work with Barrick and Bill on the sand. Cherry, you start learning. Eve, come! Eve, come! One down, two thousand loads to go. Hmm, this is more red than peach pink. Berry Breezy Bay is famous for its peach pink sand. See? What if we try adding some pink grapefruit juice to it? That might make it pinker. Good thinking, Strawberry. You and Lemon can... <gasps> oh, no. Uh, no, 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 Cherry! The chairs go over here. Not too bad, I think, if I do say so myself. Not bad, but not perfect. It has to look exactly like the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. They are famous for their exact replica sandcastle. Here, like this. But how do I... I mean, how can I... It's no big deal. All you have to do is tear this down and start all over. That's perfect! Just the right size for transplanting our Berry Bitty Coconut Palms. Um, where are our Berry Bitty Coconut Palms? Coming right up! I don't know how bitty they are, though. My very bitty plant food is having a bit of trouble trying to bitty eyes these big boys. How much trouble? Uh, let's just say they're smaller than big, but bigger than bitty. Uh, which could be good, depending. Depending on what? On how much shade you want. Let's bring one of them out! The smallest one, please! <laughs> Too much shade. I agree. Just another day or so, and I'll be able to grow them to very bitty size. All right, send it back to the nursery. <laughs> oh no! Let's see. What's next? Hey, Orange. You want to have a look at this? Sure, Raspberry. Um, where is it? It, um, <laughs> uh, hmm, I, I could have sworn, but I, huh. Maybe we should try some lemonade. Well, that's very pretty. Oh, but it sure is starting to smell awful. Oh, no, 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 that's not it. It has to be exactly like the sand at Berry Breezy Bay. Well, we won't be able to call this Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Okay, team, let's try the wind machine. No, no, I can barely feel that. I want it to be a very big breeze. Try it again. Put a little more oomph into it. <laughs> you worked. 
You really tried your very best. But it was a very big project. Hmm? What were you saying? Mm, the resort? All that work? Blown away? Remember? I figured out the problem. My first sketch was just plain wrong. I downloaded the plans for Berry Breezy Bay from the internet. Now I can make it exactly like the real thing. Of course, we're going to have to work really, really hard to build this. Teamwork, that's the key. Meet me in five minutes and I'll hand out your new assignments. She can't be serious. We can't build something like that. There's no way. She's just setting herself up for another disappointment. <sighs> I'll go talk with her. 19 and 20. Orange. Hi, Strawberry. Glad you came. You can help me start digging the foundation for the hotel. Cherry can help mix cement. Plum can put in the plumbing. Raspberry's got the window shades and wallpaper. Lemon can lay the floor. I'll do the roof. And Blueberry can... Blueberry can... Hey, where are Cherry and Plum and Raspberry and Lemon and Blueberry? We're on a tight schedule. They're, uh, not coming. Why not? <gasps> What's wrong? Well, I think maybe you have the wrong blueprints. I do? <gasps> oh, no! <sighs> oh, for a minute there I thought I'd made a mistake or something. Nope. These are the plans, all right. The plans they used to build the real resort. See? Every detail is exactly, precisely the same as on Berry Breezy Island. The beach, the hotel, the chairs, the palms. But what about these? Oh, <laughs> those aren't any good. Oh, I, I think they are. Oh, come on. Just look. The details are all off. See that beach? Way too small. And the chairs, they're in the wrong place. And don't you think this is the most important detail? Huh? What detail? This, right here. That's us having fun, having a great vacation together. Isn't that what matters most? Well, but wouldn't it be more fun with a big pink beach like this? And real palm trees like these? And... I think what makes it fun is us being together, having fun. Yeah. Come to think of it, I haven't been much fun. I guess I've been kind of bossy. We don't want to give up on helping you with your dream, but... You know, maybe we don't need a big pink beach. Maybe we don't need palm trees. What if we build a tropical paradise that's just right for us? <laughs> that sounds like a very good idea, Orange. And what if I try to have more fun building it? <laughs> All right! <laughs> hmm? Hmm. And Raspberry, build any kind of sandcastle you want. Just have fun doing it. <laughs> oh, I have so many this is ideas. Be great. Come on, let's get going. exact shade of pink. Maybe the coconuts aren't in perfect rows, but mmm, they taste great in these pies. Who needs the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel when we have beach bungalows just right for us? Maybe it isn't exactly like that other place, but this is better because we built it together. Orange, will you do the honors? I'd be happy to. My friends, 
Tomorrow our vacation begins. Welcome to our very own Berry Bitty Resort. <laughs> Beyond the berry breeze, an island waits for me. Tropical paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea, watching the waves all rolling. And strawberry and a very beautiful one it is. <laughs> right as raspberries. Huh? Wow. Looks like the marketplace is off to a great start. This is going to be wonderful. Oh, I just hope it's quick. Remember, two weeks, two weeks. My next crop of very bitty produce will be ready to harvest in just two weeks. This marketplace has got to go up, 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 or there won't be any place to put my peaches. Lay out my lemons, keep my carrots. We're doing the best we can. Everybody calm down. I know the deadline is tight, but I've worked out a schedule. If we follow this, we'll be finished in two weeks. No problem. We can do that. No Consider problem. Consider it done. Don't worry, Berry Can Bloom. We'll be ready when you are. Oh, thank you, thank you. Gotta get back to caring for my corn, pruning my peas, weeding my watermelons, nurturing my nectarines. Oh. Well then, you have all your materials? Well, I could use those designs for your apartment on the second floor. Oh, I'll get to those today. And maybe some, oh, watch it, extra hands to help put up the frame this afternoon. Hmm, I'll round up the girls, see if they can spare a couple of hours after lunch. Thank you, Strawberry. Oh, Plum! Ugh. Oh. Plum? On vacation? I didn't know she was going on vacation. Lemon has gone traveling? Oh. Orange's store is closed. Please come back another time. Gone fishing? Blueberry's never been fishing in her life. Oh, muffin crumbs. This is awfully odd. <laughs> Come on, cousin.
custard? <laughs> this isn't playtime, huh? Cupcake, please. I have work to do. <laughs> so, what do you think of this for my dream bedroom custard? Huh? Oh, you're right. There's something I forgot. I've always wanted a little shelf behind my bed. You know, to keep a glass of water, a book, and my phone. Oh, and my dream bedroom would have a skylight above the bed. Oh, I would wish on shooting stars as I drift off to sleep. And built-in drawers with the smallest drawer on top for socks and tights, and the largest drawer on the bottom for, you know, my sweaters. <gasps> no, what? What? What about your vacation and your travels and uh, fishing? Vacation? Pickled pineapples. Have you flipped your flop? We've yes. got a marketplace to build. Hold on, but you, you closed your stores so... <laughs> <laughs> so we can help you, silly. You, you did that for me? Of course. Oh, you want to help? That's what friends, friends are for. for. Why don't we head over to the building site and get started? have it mostly under control, but they do need extra hands to put up the frame. How exciting! Putting up the frame! And after that, what can we do? Yes, what can we do? Strawberry, we won't be ready to put up the frame until after lunch, but may I show you the grout colors for the tiles? Uh, sure, um, just, uh... We can help. I'm great at grout. I'm a perfect painter. I could alphabetize supplies. And could you confirm the height of the fruit stall, Strawberry? Sure, I... Oh, are those the plans for the upstairs apartment? Oh, uh, not quite finished yet, Barry Kimbell. <gasps> the upstairs apartment? We'll work on that. That'll be our project. Oh, uh, really? Um, oh, okay. That'd be a big help, sure. But I haven't finished the, um, designs. We know what you love, Strawberry. Yeah. You want a skylight, right? How did you know that? Don't worry, Strawberry. We'll run every idea by you. What do you say? Well, all right. That's so nice of you to offer. Our pleasure. Come on, girls, let's get going. <laughs> Great! Bloom and butter beans. You aren't supposed to be ripe yet. I told Strawberry two weeks. Oh no, no, the marketplace isn't ready yet. There's no place to put all of you until it's finished. What will I do? Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Water bottles. Oh, I've got to find some place to hide this stuff before Strawberry finds out. Ooh. But where will she put her books? She can come here to read. I'll find a place. Hey, I'm hearing a creaking sound. Oh, the only thing I hear is the pitiful wails of my poor ideas as they're shot down. Guess I'm just hearing things. She'll need a vanity for doing her hair. Like I said, there isn't room. Where will she put all her scarves? There could be a shelf in the wardrobe. One can't have too many books. Okay, so we all agree we want Strawberry's bedroom to have a special scent. Absolutely! But as far as the other ideas, Blueberry wants built-in bookshelves. Lemon believes a vanity is a must. Plum, you want her to have a dance bar. Which will take an entire wall. But where will she do her morning stretching? In your big wardrobe that'll take up half the room? Hey, just saying. Now, we promised we would run our plans past Strawberry. So tomorrow, let's each present our ideas and let her decide. What you think? 
Brilliant! Great idea. Perfect. Why didn't I think of that? Terrific. Well, then, meeting adjourned. So, who's for tea? Oh, I am, thanks. Blueberry? Um, do you have any raspberry? I'll take lemon. Mmm, orange. Plum, please. Nothing tops plum tea. Long as it has a squeeze of lemon. Nah, I'm still just hearing things. Life gives you pineapples, make pineapple. Um, pineapple. Oh, pineapple upside down and sideways cake. Hmm. <laughs> Too woodsy for Strawberry's bedroom. Need more floral. Ah! <gasps> I'm not just hearing things. in there. Kangaroos, a collection of humorous short stories, fiction, by Patsy von Schlagopeck. That's certainly an unwieldy name. Uh, what does unwieldy mean, Blueberry? It means difficult to handle, maybe because of size or shape. Like that armoire and vanity? Huh? But, but, she has to have an armoire. But she has to have a vanity. I know, it's just that you left me the smallest wall for my ballet bar. But it's perfect, Plum. It is? Well, I was thinking, do you think I could use the bar to hang some silky scarves on just to show Strawberry what else she could use it for? Okay, girls, I've got it! The perfect scent for Strawberry's dream bedroom. Uh, but wait! I've got the perfect scent. Here's mine. What about my perfume? But Strawberry said she loved my orange Aura Room fragrance. <laughs> she said she absolutely adored my plumicious pleasing perfume. She definitely okayed my Berry Bonnie Blueberry Bedroom Beautifier. But she okayed my Luscious Lemon Home Aromaizer! <laughs> hey! There's orange aura stuck to my vanity. It was supposed to be lemony light white. It's okay, Lemon. You know, orange really goes better with my bedspread palette anyway. <gasps> Nice, Blueberry. Thank you. I can't smell my fragrance. Oh, no. What have we done? Ugh. It's getting a little powerful in here. Let's take a break. Break? Let's evacuate. Give it a chance to unscent. Rich. Let me out of here. Yeah. Hi, 
Barrick in bloom. Looking forward to that big harvest in two weeks, huh? <laughs> We're right on schedule. Oh, Barry and Bill. I was thinking, what a shame. What a very big shame. What do you mean? Well, it's just if the marketplace could be finished by, oh, let's say, tomorrow, I could submit a photo of it to Better Barry Betty Buildings Digest for their Best Built Bidding Building of the Year Award. You would be a shoe in The Best Built Bitty Building Award? Whoa. Well, that's bigger than the Plasterer Prize and the Tyler's Trophy put together. Winning that would be such an honor for the crew. And for the construction boss in charge. All right, Berrykins, listen up. We have a little change in schedule. And you're gonna love it. <laughs> Fresh kiwi fruit, none finer. Now, just stay there until tomorrow when you'll have your very own display in the marketplace. Wow! It's almost all done. Strawberry, looking great, huh? We're down to the wire. But you don't have to work so hard. You're way ahead of schedule. Oh, nothing doing, Strawberry. We're going for the gold. <gasps> Wait! I brought you all some pineapple upside down, Berry. Are you ready, Strawberry? Ready for what? Wait and see. <laughs> okay, just a few more steps. Almost there. <laughs> Just love it! Wow, it's, uh, incredible. Oh, what a pretty bedspread. <laughs> and I love having a book. I mean, lots of books right by the bed. And what a great vanity. I never would have thought of that. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll have to get more outfits to fit in this wardrobe. <laughs> oh, what an original lampshade. Orange made it. Oh, and your exercise bar, Plum. I'll be sure to get my exercise first thing. And what an unusual room fragrance. Which fragrance do you like best? All I smell is kiwi, which is quite, uh, refreshing. Kiwi? Hmm. What's the matter, Strawberry? Oh, you didn't change your mind about this skylight, did you? Oh, because we can get rid of it. Or move it. Oh, no. It's just you've all done so much work for me. Of course, Strawberry. Anything to make you happy. Well, we'll leave you to enjoy. Strawberry. I put them there. I just didn't want to let anyone down. How would you let us down? I was wrong about the harvest. It won't be ready in two weeks. 
Well, that's okay. We can wait. It's ready now. No problem. We can now. <gasps> Colliding kiwis. We'd better get busy. This marketplace has to be open tomorrow. We're on it. Now let's get a move on. Clean up these kiwis. We're gonna have this place ready at dawn. Good evening, Princess Berrykin. And what an evening it is. I heard about Berrykin Bloom's early harvest. Is there anything I could do to help? Oh, thank you, Princess. You could help me take these sandwiches over to the marketplace for the night crew. If only Berrykin Bloom could have expressed his needs from the start. Yes, but he was afraid to disappoint and... Oh, um, before you go, perhaps you could help me by eating some pineapple upside down and sideways cake. Oh, I am sorry, but I don't care for pineapple. But knowing you did something so thoughtful is sweets enough. That was a very gracious way to be honest, Princess. Hmm, I better call the girls over here for a pineapple party. Lovely idea. <laughs> you before what I wanted. Well, we're glad you finally did. Really? Absolutely. It's your bedroom. We just want you to be happy in it. I am. I really am. Uh, we forgot something. Oh, uh, another room fragrance? Maybe... Oh. Strawberry scent. Oh, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> huh? A place to put down your ideas for the marketplace's grand opening celebration. <gasps> Muffin crumbs! I forgot about the grand opening! Custard, cupcake, it's gonna be a long night. Ah, uh, mud pies. Okay, tell me again what you saw, but slower this time. Okay, so uh, there we were, weren't we? And a routine irrigation check. Bouncing boysenberries. Looks like we got a loose ripple lock. Uh, hey, what's wrong, Earl? Heard something funny, kind of. Uh, what? Uh, I don't hear anything. Uh, something lolloped me. <laughs> So, you see, Miss Strawberry, we definitely have a monster in the berry patch. With seven noses? Yeah. And, and it lollops. Lollops? <gasps> well, Miss Cherry, uh, uh, sort of, kind of... licks in a slobbery sort of way. Oh, how unbecoming. What's going on, Strawberry? Monster in the berry patch. Scary berries! So, what do we do? I guess we go meet it. Huh? Hmm. I myself don't 
don't see any evidence of a monster. <laughs> Sounds like dogs? Be reasonable now. That was my last biscuit. Dogs and a boy? <gasps> Hello? Oh! Excuse me. No, excuse me. Uh, who, wh where'd you come from? Very Bitty City. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. I live there with my friends. Oh, hi there. I'm Huckleberry Pie. Hello, I'm Orange. Hi, I'm Cherry. Hello, Huckleberry. I'm Blueberry. Ed. <laughs> I'm Earl. Where are you headed? Not anywhere now. I'm kind of stuck. Hmm. Not for long, you aren't. Guests behave. <sighs> You're so lucky to have so many pets. Oh, Lemon, they aren't mine. Whose are they? Well, uh, nobody's. <gasps> so you've been driving from town to town in Huck's Pupmobile getting dogs adopted? Yeah, I started with 25. I'm taking these, uh, leftover guys to Berry Big City to start Huckleberry's Home for Pets. That is quite admirable. Hey, Mr. Huckleberry! Uh, Mr. Huckleberry, you're good to go. All fixed up. Thank you so much. And thank you, Strawberry, Cherry, and your friends, too. <sighs> well, I'd better head out. But it's late. You might get lost again in the dark. You can stay upstairs here, and I'll stay in my other room above my cafe. Well, that's really nice of you, Strawberry. <laughs> Looks like they feel right at home. Well, I hope you do too. Oops! <laughs> Almost forgot my guys. Dinner? Uh, is this part of my bedsheet? Oh, Strawberry, I give up. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I fell asleep and they stayed awake. I guess you could say they, uh... Redecorated? It's what pups do. Strawberry, you've been so kind. And then this. I insist on fixing your room. That might take some time. However long it takes, I promise I'll put it back the way it was. That's very honorable of you. You're welcome to stay as long as it takes, then. <gasps> Need some more trash bags? Huh? 
Nice leashes, Raspberry. Oh, thanks. I kind of thought they were sort of rather stylish in a pinch. Thank you for walking them. It was fun. Mm -hmm. You know, we were thinking we could each host a dog. That way you wouldn't have to watch over all seven at once. Great idea, Orange. We can each teach our guests some doggy manners. That's so generous of you. Well, they are all so cute. <gasps> he slipped out of his leash. Guess I'll host you. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, I haven't named them yet, so be my guest. I think I'll call you Biscuit. <laughs> Okay, you are going to look very, very glamorous. Your fur's a bit too short for a bow. Well, I guess you look just like you did when I met you, which is very glamorous. And one, two, three, one, two, three, and hit your mark right here. See? Okay, now you try. Come on, boy. Oh, almost. Try again and you'll get a treat. Uh, uh, the waltz part comes later. <sighs> well, at least you hit your mark. We came to help. You name it, and we'll do it. Ooh, got a pretty chewed up chair here. We'll take it to the shop and give it a good power sanding. Oh, I can do it. I love sanding and, yeah, uh, machine stuff. I really miss carpentering and, uh, you know, machining. <laughs> Huckleberry! Oh, hi, uh, Blueberry. Sorry, Plum, didn't mean to interrupt your, uh... It's okay. This is my Let Your Inner Music Move You class. That's my favorite, moving to musical innards. <laughs> Inner music? Yeah, I love that too. You do? That's great. Then join us. Okay, hit me with the beat. Uh, this is move to your inner music. So just close your eyes, get quiet and peaceful. Listen to the harmony of your feelings the bliss of your brain waves, and then go with it. Hi, Huck. Hi, Strawberry. Wow, your pets really like Biscuit. Fit right in from the start. How's my bedroom makeover undo coming along? Oh, great. Just waiting for the Berrykins to build me another chip. I mean, fix. Uh, touch up. Uh, shouldn't be long now. Hold tight. Almost done with these muffins. Hey, can I help? Cooking's my favorite. Muffins are my specialty. That would be a very big help. Can you put these in the oven for me while I finish this batter? Piece of cake. <laughs> uh. Oh. Hello, Huckleberry. Hi. Are you okay, Cherry? It sounded like you were crying. Oh, that was him. We were trying to teach Crooner to sing, but 
It's not coming naturally. <laughs> Singing? Hey, that's my favorite. Sweet. You can take Crooner's part. Very best friends forever. We never let each other down. As long as we're together. Oh, uh, just warming up my throat. Huck, why don't you take the next chorus on your own? Oh, uh, sure. Sweet home, where memories are made and berries are grown. Yeah. Home, sweet home, a place you can always call your own. Divine, that dog can sing. Biscuit, I thought you were staying with Strawberry. He's sure welcome to stay with me and Crooner. So, uh, Huckleberry, why don't we start with some simple notes, just to warm up your voice? Uh, think I got a tickle in my throat. I'll catch you later. Okay, feel better. For someone who loves to sing, he sure doesn't love to sing. Hi, Orange, Raspberry. What's the hurry? Hair appointment at Lemon Salon. Can't wait to get the new hairdo, the Curlpacious Crescent Quaff. Oh, yeah. I've been dying to get that one, too. Huh? You? Are you sure? Bring it on. Can't wait. <laughs> well, would you look at that? Do you want a manicure, Poochie? <laughs> Lemon, you are an artist. I absolutely oh, I love it. That's it, Sleuth. Smell anything? You must smell something. Can you smell? It's okay. Keep going. You're getting warm. Warmer. Ah, ah, cold, cold! What is that? Just me. Huckleberry? What are you doing in there? Hiding. Uh, hiding from what? The whole Berry Bitty world. How come? <laughs> you didn't let Lemon talk you into that, did you? I'm afraid I talked her into it. Kind of like you talked us into letting you join our dance class? Come out of there. All you need is a little water. Oh, no. Don't worry. I have a warm setting on this hose. Oh, okay. Cold. Cold. <laughs> Blueberry, you saved me. Mmm, ginger tea, my favorite. Is it really, or are you just saying that? I, uh, well, one of my favorites. Why would you say something was your favorite if it isn't? I mean, favorite usually means one only. I guess I thought everyone would, you know, like me better. You've all been so nice to me here, I just wanted to fit in. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I'm getting the better of this mystery before it betters me. Hey, that's what Patty Persimmon always says. Patty Persimmon? She's my favorite mystery character. Really? Mine too. Huckleberry, you've got to stop saying you like things just so people will like you. No, really. I like Patty Persimmon mysteries. Okay. Where is Patty Persimmon from? Berry Bitty Glade. But in The Secret of the Feathered Fish, we learned she was really born in Cricket Crossing and then moved to Berry Bitty Glade. You're right. Okay. <laughs> What's her middle name? Middle name, you say? Mm-hmm. Ha! She doesn't have one. <gasps> You're right. 
Okay, okay. What is her favorite breakfast? In the mystery of the purloined parasol, it was crepes a la mode. Uh-huh. But in the creepy cabinet caper, she discovers she loves persimmon pancakes with pumpkin butter, coconut syrup, and macadamia nuts. That's right! You really do like Patty Persimmon Mysteries. Like them? I collect them! I've got them all. All but the latest one, which isn't out yet. It's the Thespian, Thespian Theater, Theater Thriller! I have it! You do? But it, it just now, it only just... Oh, how did you get it? You just happened to be looking at a lifetime member of the Patty Persimmon Early Edition Club. Wow. I finished it last night. <sighs> Would you let me borrow it, please? Hey, you can have a copy. Compliment to Blueberry's Bookstore. If you make me a promise, no more pretending everything is your favorite. Give Berry Bitty City a chance to like you for who you are. Then you'll be sure we like the real you. Okay, deal. Hey, I thought you were staying with Lemon. Would you look at that? This dog can track. I think I'll call you Snipper. He fits in everywhere. I wish I had a little of what he has. Biscuit? little thing. Whenever anyone comes in, she hides. Kinda shy. Hope she'd make a nice guard dog. Let me know when people need help. I don't think Coco likes his sweater. Well, it is kind of thick. And he already has a fur coat. Yeah, don't think he likes it. And he won't sit still for fittings. Hmm. Hi, Ange. Oh, morning. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Orange, I don't think your dog is shy. I think she's cold. Really? Mm-hmm. And mine is too hot in that sweater. Can I try it on your dog? Absolutely! Great idea, Raspberry. Okay, Strawberry, open them. <gasps> oh, Huckleberry, it looks beautiful. It looks like it did before my dogs got a hold of it. I hope, anyway. It does, it does. Thank you for fixing everything. Thank you for your hospitality. You are welcome in Berry Bitty City anytime. Really? Uh, after all the trouble I caused? Well, everyone makes mistakes. And don't you know how much we all like you? You do? Of course. We liked you from the start. What you're doing for the pups? I mean, who wouldn't like a person who does something so nice? Where are all the dogs? Um, can we talk to you about that? Would it be possible for me to adopt Hannah? Hannah? What happened to the Dalmatian? Doesn't Cinepup have an incredible voice? And Pitter Patch is a great dancer. Doesn't Chiffon look fabulous? Um, where is Chiffon? Ah! We decided to swap dogs. And perfect matches were made. Isn't that so scouty? <laughs> what do you say, Huckleberry? Of course. Well, I suppose I'll adopt Biscuit. But I haven't seen him for a while. He's kind of a rover. There he is. I'll take oh, you with the <laughs> no wonder he didn't stay with any of us. He's been your dog all along. Well, Huckleberry, will you let him adopt you? <laughs> I think Tom Tom already has.
still lots of time before the cafe opens. Hmm, guess it's a good morning to clean out the fridge. Oh, that's right. I cleaned it yesterday. <laughs> hmm, clean the oven. Oh, forgot. <laughs> cleaned it the day before. Looks like I'm all out of things to do. Hey, Pupcake. Think we should go strawberry shopping? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Pupcake! <laughs> hey, come back! Pupcake, come back here! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Plum! Strawberry. Morning, Blueberry. Good morning, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Hi, Strawberry. Morning, Lemon. Mmm, what's that fragrance? Mm, my new lemon hair scent. Like it? Oh, delicious. Great! I have a new strawberry scented shampoo that'd be perfect for you. Stop by later, I'll give you some. Where are you off to? Soon as I can catch Pupcake to Berry Glen for some strawberries. Need anything while I'm there? Oh, uh, yes. Pick me a few sunflower seeds. You got it. Pupcake! <laughs> there you are. Now please don't budge. I gotta get some sunflower seeds for orange. Strawberry Shortcake, you are out early today. What is all this? My latest, greatest invention. A plant food that grows berry betty fruits and vegetables. No more rolling apples all the way into town. Now they're just the right size for us. Mmm, very delicious too. <laughs> Thank you. But there's only one problem. <sighs> My berry bitty harvest is a bit more bountiful than I expected. Thank you. We've got to get these to Orange's general store before they spoil. Wait till she sees these. She'll be so excited. I'll help. 
help you, Barricade Bloom. Thimbles, check. Thread, check. Berries and bobbins, buttons and bows. Check and check, check and check. Can I get you anything else? No, thank you, Orange. This is all I need. Alrighty then. And thank you for shopping at Orange's General Store. Where there's a place for everything and a thing for every place. Morning, Orange. Good morning, Verykinville. And what can I get for you today? I'll need three bolts, six nails, 12 pails, a bag of rags, a box of socks, and half a dozen wooden blocks. Got it. Oh, what kind of wood? Well, I hadn't really thought much about... I have pine, cherry, oak, mahogany, peach, apple, elm, ash, beech, hickory, ebony, cedar, poplar, maple, spruce, sycamore, teak, rosewood, rubberwood, cottonwood, walnut, and willow. Um... I'm having a special this week on willow. I'll take willow. Good choice. And will there be anything else? Got any sunflower seeds? Ooh, all out. But a fresh shipment is coming in today. Oh, Orange, I got your sunflower seeds. See? If we don't have it, we'll get it at Orange's General Store. The place where there's a place for everything and a thing for, um, every some place? <laughs> Morning, Orange. Might you have room in your store for some delicious, nutritious, berry bitty fruits and vegetables fresh from my berry own bitty garden? Wow. Um, yeah, uh, sure. Of course. Bring it on. You know, this is a lot of stuff. Can I give you some help making room for it? Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. I can make room on my own. Well, okay, but if you need any help rearranging... Don't be silly, Strawberry. Organization is my specialty. Okay, bring it in! <laughs> now, Custard! <laughs> This is not a toy. <laughs> wow! Do you think the store with a thing for every place has too many things and not enough places? Looks like Orange could use our help. Every time I ask, she says she's got it under control. Psst! Do you want to see what under control looks like? Really? What should I do? I mean, should I say something? You know how she takes so much pride in being organized. I know, but I think we have to. Um, Orange? <coughs> yes, strawberry? Your, um, uh, peaches and carrots? Peaches next to peas, just the other side plums. Carrots right before cucumbers. Yes, they're... If you get to come quads, you've gone too far. What I mean is, I mean, the problem is... Problem? There, there, there's a problem? Oh, just, um, a bitty one. Oh, good. How bitty? Well, the peaches and carrots are sort of, um, wilting in the sun. Oh, the sun? I'm on it, I got it. It's under control. No worries. Great, just great. One more goof up like this and the whole town will think I don't know how to run my store. Oh, um, everything okay? Well, sure. Sun solved. Anything we can do to 
help you? Thanks, Strawberry. But I've got the whole thing under control. Whoa! Uh, so <laughs> refreshing. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to the cafe for breakfast. <laughs> Gotta run! I'll keep some waffles warm for you in case you get a break. Nobody since you guys were here. The whole town's at Orange's store. I've had so much spare time, I reorganized all my potholders, alphabetized my spices, and now I'm sketching some designs for a bedroom makeover. Orange has got to be swamped. Too bad she won't let us help her. I know. I think she's sensitive about accepting help. She feels it's like admitting she failed. Did she ever come by for breakfast? Nope. I finally had to give away the stack of waffles I'd saved for her. <laughs> At least they didn't go to waste. Poor Orange, she's got to be hungry. It's almost lunchtime. I'm bringing her a sandwich. Least I can do. See you, Lemon. Okay, later. Galloping gooseberries. Radishes and rutabagas. Who wanted the radishes and rutabagas? Hey, well, you know what? Tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and peas. Who asked for tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and peas? Excuse me. Um, pardon me. I beg your pardon. Oh, excuse me. Wow, is business ever booming? I brought you a sandwich. Thanks, but I can't take a lunch break just now. Papayas and peaches! Who ordered the papayas and... Right here, right here, right here! Just a bit busy. Wow, you really worked out a great system here. <laughs> Hi! Those are for produce only. Nothing beats painting in a watercoloring book. <laughs> Extraordinary talent! You may want to enroll him in an advanced painting class. Would you like me to? Oh, no, no problem. I, I can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> 
She'll get upset. Oh, that's just silly. Helping each other is what friends are for. And I have plenty of spare time today. Look how pretty all the vegetables look in these crates. Well, she's got it into her head that the mess came from her store. And if she doesn't clean it herself, we'll think she isn't good at running her store. It's not her fault. There isn't enough room for all this stuff in her store. Yeah, what you'd need is a whole other store. Hmm. I smell something. Uh, mangoes? No, an idea. Huh. Hi, Orange. Be right with you. Almost done here. Everything under control. Good, because I desperately need your help with something. What is it, Strawberry? What do you need? Um, it's kind of personal. Do you have five minutes for a cup of tea at the cafe? Um, well, sure, I guess. Um, I'll just close up for a few minutes. Great. Don't worry, I'll have you back in a flash. There. Back in a flash. So, I was saying, I need to ask you a favor. Anything? Well, I have this dream of... Custard? No! I said, that's not a toy! This... this dream of opening a side business. Yeah? Oh, how fun! Well, what kind of business? Well, that's the trouble. I have nothing to sell. Hmm. So that's where you come in. I was hoping you wouldn't mind if I sold Berrykin Bloom's next Berry Bitty Harvest in a... sort of a... produce marketplace. But only if you'd be willing to part with it. A marketplace? What a great idea! <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you doing this for me? Well, I'm, I'm doing it mostly because it would be fun for me. And fun for me, too! Not to have to run my store and sell all those fruits and veggies. I don't know why I didn't let you help me before. I'm so wiped out. Do you think the girls would mind helping me get my store cleaned up? Done! Oh, you are all so sweet! Thank you. You always help us, Orange. Why wouldn't we help you? Well, we all need to help Strawberry, because she's opening up a new marketplace! We're on it! Great, everyone. I think that's enough for one day. I can take it from here. Thank you so much for helping me get started. You're welcome. Sure, no problem. Anytime. Strawberry. Goodbye. See you tomorrow, Strawberry. Emergency! What is it, Berrykin Bloom? It's my new plant food that shrinks the fruits and veggies to our size. It also shrinks the time from seed to harvest. I've got a new crop coming in only two weeks. Oh, no! This marketplace has to be built in half the time! Girls, come back! 